the graph on the right for the graph on the right give the x and the y intercept so this is a parabola so a parabola has got three critical points or main points this is the x intercepts x intercepts are where the graph cuts the x axis and this is your y intercept and this is your vertex so there are three main points x intercept y intercept and the vertex so the x intercept is or r this is minus 1 so you always write the coordinate which is minus 1 comma 0 and this is your y this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 and the second x intercept is 4 comma 0 okay your y intercept your y intercept is where your graph cuts the y axis so it is intersect cutting the y axis at negative 4 so this is 0 comma negative 4 okay now this is based on the x intercept we can write the equation of a parabola okay so here as the graph is cutting the x axis at negative 1 and 4 i can write the equation like this y is equal to a times a is a stretch factor now a has to be positive it can be one it can be less than one more than one okay it depends on the on the type of parabola so as we know the x intercepts are negative one and plus four i can say the equation has to be y is equal to a times x as it cuts the x-axis at negative one i'll have to write plus one here and x minus four that's as simple as that so this is your equation of a parabola based on the x intercepts okay now to figure out a to find a we have to substitute a point uh, the values of a point in the equation okay now you can either uh, put this point or this point now this this point is difficult to read because it seems to be 1.5 something okay I don't, i'm not sure so we can't be sure about this point so we can put this point okay so you cannot put this point or this point in this equation because if you put say minus one here in place of x what will happen this will, this bracket will become zero and zero times the whole thing is zero so y is equal to zero and that's what you get when x is negative one y is zero and when x is four y is zero so you you will get y equal to zero but in in the process you will also lose a okay so we are going to put this point uh, in this equation so uh, we can say when x is zero when x is zero y is negative four this is your y intercept we are going to put this back in this equation okay so what will happen okay so yeah so if you put this in place of x we are going to put 0 in place of x and negative 4 in place of y so this is negative 4 equals a times 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 4 okay so i'll go very slowly so this is minus 4 is equal to a times what is 0 plus 1 it's 1 0 take away 4 is negative 4 so I'll do the working here so this is minus 4 is equal to this is a times 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 a so now we can divide both side by we can divide both side by negative 4 so this is divided by negative 4 this is also divided by negative 4 so it's better to use the calculator so menu run so negative 4 divided by negative 4 you don't need a calculator for this that is 1 okay so this negative 4 and this negative 4 gets cancelled so your ultimate answer is 1 is equal to a 1 is equal to a or a is equal to this implies a is equal to 1 so this equation is basically this the, the equation of this parabola is y is equal to x plus 1 
times x minus 4. Let's confirm this using a graphic calculator. Okay, so go to your graph and type in the equation bracket x plus 1 times x bracket, I'll have to put a bracket there, bracket x minus 4 and then graph it. Okay, so I'll need to change the scale. I'll change the scale from 10 by 10 and then graph it. So you can confirm the x-intercept. So you go g sol and root. If you press F1, you'll get negative 1. Can you see this is negative 1? And if you press this replay, the cursor will move to the next uh, x-intercept, which is 4 comma 0. Again, g sol, your y-intercept. Y-intercept is negative 4. So we have confirmed x and the y-intercept. Okay. So now we're going to write the same equation because for the next question, let's read the next question so that you'll understand what I'm going to do next. The parabola, that means this parabola, has moved, let me scroll this slightly up so that you can see. What you're saying is the parabola, that means this parabola, has moved two units to the right and three up. Give the equation of the parabola in its new position. New position and the y-intercept. Okay. So, yeah, we don't want the x-intercept. We only want the y-intercept. So, what they're saying is this parabola is moving three to the right. Am I right? No, two to the right and three up. So, yeah, this point... So for this point is, let me write the point. This is minus 1, comma, 0. This is 4, comma, 0. So each of this point, including the vertex, is moving 2 to the right and 3 up. Suppose if this point moves 2 to the right, so 1, 2, and 3 up, 1, 2, 3. So this point, let me use a different color. So let me move this to the 2 to the right and 3 up. 1, 2, and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. So this is this point. This is the transformation. This point has gone 2 to the right. That means it goes to 6 and 3 up. So it moves here. Okay. This point goes 2 to the right and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this point is a difficult point. So this also will move 2 to the right. It's going... Uh, this is 2 to the right, so if you go, this is uh, 1.5, seems to be 1.5, 2 to the right and 3 up. So probably it comes somewhere, yeah, so let me make a guess. So this goes, this is 1, this is 2, and now you're going 1, 2, 3, so it goes like this. Okay, so this is your transformation. So let me graph it, sketch the graph, so let me use a different color. So parabola goes somewhat like this. I don't know. That's only a sketch. Okay, so my... Let me draw it again. So this is going like this. And this is going like this. This is difficult to draw. Okay, so this... We want to write the equation of this parabola. So to write that, we need to know the equation of this parabola in terms of the vertex. Okay, so let me scroll this down. Okay, so what they're saying is, first, let's understand. This is a basic parabola which has gone, now when I'm talking about the basic parabola, I keep, so but this is the basic parabola. Say, your basic parabola passes through, uh, passes through 0, 0. This is 1, 1. This is negative 1, 1. This is 1, 1, negative 2, 4, and 2, comma, 4, yeah. So basic parabola looks like this. It goes like this. Okay, so this, base, this is your basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. This basic parabola, if you think about this basic, this parabola, this is the transformation of this parabola, this parabola that was given is the transformation of this parabola. How do I know? Because your a is 1 in this case, in this, this is 1 here, 
y is equal to x squared. So this has the coefficient a is 1 here. In this case also it is 1 here. Okay, so let's write the equation of this parabola. Okay, so, so let's find the vertex Okay, for this original parabola. So the vertex the vertex of this basic parabola would be the x value or the x coordinate of the vertex would be between uh, the x intercepts. So we know the x intercepts are negative 1 and plus 4. So the x, x coordinate of the vertex would be minus 1 plus 4 divided by 2. It is halfway between the x intercepts which is 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. Or we can say that the x coordinate of the vertex is between the x intercept. But now we need to find the y coordinate of the vertex for which we need to put this back in this equation. So we know already the equation is x plus 1 times x minus 4. So in place of x, I can put 1.5 plus 1 times 1.5 take away 4. So let me do first without the calculator. This is simple. This is 2.5 times 1.5 take away 4 is minus 2.5. You can do with, with your calculator. So let us let me show you on a calculator. So you, if you're not confident, it's always good to use your calculator. So 1.5 plus 1 times 1.5 take away 4 which is minus 6.25. So this is minus 6.25 and it does make sense. Okay, so what we're saying is this, the vertex, this is 1.5 comma minus 6.25. So based on the vertex, we can say the equation of your parabola is y is equal to a times it has gone 1.5 to the right. Your basic parabola has gone 1.5 to the right. So it'll be x minus 1.5, the whole squared, minus 6.25. Now we already know that a is 1. a is 1 is already we know. a is 1. So in place of a, I can put 1. So this is y is equal to x minus 1.5, the whole squared, minus 6.25. So now the most interesting thing is I want to show that this equation and this equation, which was, where is that equation? This is, let me write this equation again. So the other equation that we wrote is y is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 4. If you expand this, you will get this, but I'll show this graphically. So go to graph and we have already this equation sitting there. So let me scroll. And this is the equation. Okay. Now let me delete this. And let us type in this equation that we got. This equation is called, uh, I'll call this equation a, a vertex form equation. So x minus 1.5 squared minus 6.25. 6.25. The same equation, let, uh, let me show you. G sol the root F1 minus 1 if you press minus 4. G sol Y intercept, which is 0, comma negative 4. So this and this are the same. So now the, from this, we can write this equation very easily. So what we are saying is the basic parabola has gone 2 to the right and 3 up. Okay, so the vertex is moving 2 to the right. That means your x coordinate is going, go, is going to go 2 to the right and your y coordinate is going to go 3 up. So if you add that, so let me write the answer. So 1.5 plus 2 is 3.5. Okay. And this is going to be minus 6.25 plus 3 is minus 3.25. So your new, this is the new vertex. Or we can say this vertex, it does make sense. Can you see it is this vertex is 3.5 comma minus 3.25. So 
So let's write the equation. We already know that A is 1. Okay, so the equation of that parabola is y is equal to a is 1 times it has gone 3.5 to the right. So that is x minus 3.5 the whole squared minus 3.25 minus 3.25. So this is the equation of the transformed parabola. And now they're asking us to find the y-intercept. Okay, so let's first use algebra and then we'll use it, check it on a calculator. So this is your y-intercept. Your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Okay, so we're almost there. So y is equal to 0 minus 3.5 squared minus 3.25. Now, you have to have an estimate or a sense of what your answer should be. I can estimate the answer has to be positive. Okay, so yeah, it's negative because of the transformation. It has to be something positive. So, so this is y is equal to, so let me use a calculator. So, 0 minus 3.5 squared minus 3.25. Let's see what's the answer. It's 9, exactly 9. It is the y-intercept is 9. So I'll write the coordinate like this. So this is uh, 0, 9. So let's check whether this answer is right. Okay, so this is the equation, and we need to confirm the y-coordinate is 9. So go to graphic calculator and type in the equation. Okay, so let me delete. So bracket x minus 3.5 squared minus 3.25 okay and then draw it okay okay now g sol and y intercept can you see your y intercept is 0 comma 9 okay and that's and g sol and minimum okay that is 3.5 minus 